Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you need to have a lazy day hairstyle for those days when you're rushing out the door and only have five minutes. Here's mine. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a very deep side part. Now I've already created one, but if you can use your fingers or a comb, it's really up to you and your preference. You're just gonna wanna go as deep as possible in whichever direction you choose to part your hair. Mine goes either way, so today I'm feeling like I want it to go this way, so that's the way I'm gonna do it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a one inch piece of hair and we are going to just braid it down. So only take the, really the top section, you don't wanna to take too much from the front, and we're just going to create a regular braid. You wanna to try to pick up um, a longer piece of hair, you definitely don't want anything that's too short because you don't wanna run out of hair. So mine's gonna go straight down the middle, and we're just gonna braid. thing I was really surprised at is my husband, who I have been with for 10 years, actually knows how to braid hair and he knows how to do it really well, which was A, impressive and B, kind of interesting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the braid. This is a trick that I have learned really in the last year or so. Any braid that I do, I always loosen it. And all you need to do is really just pull it apart. So leave a little bit of room at the bottom and pull it down, give yourself some wiggle room. And then we're just gonna kind of pull this braid apart. So start in the middle, start at the end. Wherever you feel like going, just pull it apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of hair in the front, take really as much as you have, it can be a big section, and we're going to weave it right through the back link of your first braid. It's going to take a second for, to find it, but once you do, you're just going to work that through. And there you go. Now what we're going to do with that piece is we're going to take one of our little alligator clips, and we're going to pin it back so that you don't lose track of it. We're gonna do the same thing with the next piece. I'm gonna take another section right here in the front. I'm gonna find my second loop. Found it, that was easier. And then I'm just going to weave it through. And have this link join the first. All right, moving right along, we have a third, which we're gonna do the same thing to. Make sure, this is why it's so important to make sure that your braid is separated. We're gonna find that third link. Mine is right here. Make a hole, pull your hair right through, and have that one join as well. If you're starting to see a pattern, that's a good thing. That's what we like to see. We're gonna go ahead and move it right along. All right, so I'm about four in. This is gonna give you the kind of that braided headband look. If you like it like that, you can totally keep it. I'm gonna add just a few more because I like it going down past the top of my head. I really like to stop maybe where the eyebrow meets, so right about here. What to do is I like to take the braid and then kind of lift up everywhere where there was an alligator clip. Just tuck it right behind. What you can do is you can just pull up a layer of your hair in the middle and take out that obnoxious hair tie. Use a bobby pin. This is the final look of what your hair is going to look like, but you have a lot of options. So you could even pull it back into like this half updo if that's what you're going for. 
or you can pull the whole thing up. This is great for the gym or if you're going to any kind of workout and you really just don't want your hair in your face. It's a great way to just pull it back 